Hey guys, Casual Chrono here. We are going to check out Chapter 2 of The Shadow of Sin and Steel. It is the Flames of War. Of course, you have to have Chapter 1 done in order to access it. So we are going to start off at the Cat Shrine. And you can click on Move to Location if you aren't already there. And by Cat Shrine, it does mean the parallel layer cat shrine. So let's uh, pick a team for this. As usual, I tend to f go for my wind team. I like to do things in master difficulty. So here is Sesta's gear. Melody's gear. I think it's all the same. Yep. Yiffa. And we don't want her gaining experience. We want her actually tanking. All right, so there we go for Alter Shani. And let's give her the support Grasta. And Tome, I think, is all good. Technically enhance if max HP katana doesn't really work well after turn number one since Alter Shani causes damage to Sesta. So I guess if you have to uh, swap out any, those would probably be the ones to do it. Anyway, uh, sidekicks. Got Tetra with the Soothing Bell. Gunts for his aura, so it doesn't really matter what he's equipped with. So here is my team. And we are in Master Difficulty. All right. For those of you unfamiliar with my videos, I edit out the cutscenes and try to go just straight to, you know, exploration, finding certain chests, uh, defeating whatever bosses come along, etc. So uh, feel free to skip to whatever part of the video might interest you. In the description below, I should have it divided up by, like, you know, what part of chapter two we're on. So you can jump straight to the area that you need help with. So let's go ahead and. Oh, let's get a reward. Anything? Uh, I do not have. I, d I tried pulling twice. I did not get Nocturne Ninja Subami. Alright, uh, looks like I could get some Chrono Stones. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get started on this. Alright. Chapter 2 of the Shadow and si of Sin and... Eh, can't talk today. The Shadow of Sin and Steel Mythos. The Flames of War. Start quest. Alright, quest accepted. And chapter two begins. Alright, get a few extra stones for that. And it looks like I'm walking right there. Well, that was easy. Alright, Vermilion Road. And automatic cutscene. Alright, looks like I have control. And I believe I'm headed towards Nagsham. Yep. Alright, so at this part, I'm going to explore every nook and cranny, look for any hidden areas, fight some horrors. If none of that interests you, feel free to skip ahead to whatever parts of the video do interest you. Alright, I get a suffering tear right away, right there. Nothing this way. Colorful nuts. Alright. So 
So that's the sparkly on the ground. And our first enemies. All right. So with this particular team, I usually start off with Depravity, the Knocked. Faded Love is cast automatically because my Shani is, alter, er, is Stellar Awakened. So I start with Malediction with her, and she Twin Blades. And we hope to see that nothing is immune to wind. Does not look like it. Alright, nothing this way. If we want easy, we can click on save and basically set up the same thing. And it'll remember our settings for the next fight. For anyone curious, my Sesta is normal style. I did not get lucky and pull her alter or her AS style. So, from what I hear, she is no pun intended an absolute beast of uh, slaughtering everything with her AS style, as long as it holds up. All right, first horror. Sesta is ready. All right, since we have save selected, and there's our settings. Looks like this horror decreases our health a little bit. Seeing the HP stoppers. Yes, looks like a 50% HP stopper. Melody does a good job restoring our MP, and she and Tetra restored health. We have save, so same attack pattern. Technically we don't need Malediction again, but I'm kind of betting that Sesta's going to kill it on the second turn. Yep. Medicine chest. Alright, so the horror is not too much of a problem if you have Sesta. Can't go this way. Ah, there's a treasure chest over here with suffering tears. So, treasure chest right there. Uh, sure, why not? I guess you can restore your health here. Can't go inside though. May heaven's mercy guide us. <laughs> These are the cries of the horses. Phew! Good job! I mean, whatever, dudes. More colorful nuts. All right, so far we've explored everything this way. Looks like a horror coming up. Another ill-omened grudge. Wasn't too big of a deal before. Sesta should finish it off. Listen, these are the cries of the 
All right, bef before we go this way, we're going to check out this direction. See if it's worth killing the horror and nothing this way. And the treasure chest is murmur scripts. All right, so if you're short on murmur scripts, beat the horror and get the chest. All right, let's see after this fight if this is an automatic cutscene or if I can keep exploring. Automatic cutscene. Alright, I have control again. I am now taking Vermilion Road to the village, which is straight ahead. So we have not explored this section of the map. So let's do that really quick. I see a chest already. Prayer scripts, if you need them. Sure, fight any minute. Who wants a bite? We should still have the save button selected, so. Those of you that have seen some of my other videos, a lot of times I'll have Sesta with a preemptive badge of some type. This would not be one of those times to do that because everyone else's skills are preemptive. So I want them. Oh. I want them to go first so Sesta is fully buffed. Alright, anything this way? More sparklies. Can't go any further. So preemptive, 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 then Sesta. And Sesta do good. And some crystal of attacks. Alright, so if you need some prayer scripts and crystal of attacks, feel free to backtrack, otherwise you are free to go on with chapter 2. And cutscene. All right, we have entered a village. We're going to talk to Subame in the mayor's house, and we can go to Kogani. Is that what's Kogani Village? All right, we're going to do what we always do. We're going to explore everything else first, and then go to the mayor's house. So, bottom row. And let's see what we can steal. Oh, this kind of looks like a big house. Alright, high class scrolls. It doesn't look like the tavern has anything. Alright. We'll check out that area last. Let's go see what's this way. Here's the inn.
I wonder what food they serve. You like that? You're so cute when you're sleeping, Aldi. And we get Grand's homemade meal. Okay. Oh, just passed up Elder. Hmm. Okay, nothing this way. That's a strange creature. See what's in here. That was a goat cow. Okay. It's easy. Okay. All right. Some scrolls there. Can't go any further. I think I'm going to try some. Guess that's everything over here. Yes, it is. Okay. Is it hiding something? Probably. in here. Frags of attack. Now are they going to allow me to go this way? Ah, looks like it. Can I attack th that thing? Passed up a sparkly. Same stuff as before. All right, well, I guess let's go ahead and explore this grove a little bit. And then we'll go back and carry on with the story. We'll save some exploration later. If you don't care about the exploration, feel free to skip ahead in the video. And yeah, you do what you need to do. Let's see. It's a pretty long map. Okay. I guess, I guess at least uh, Alter Shaney's getting a little bit of experience. Fight the horror. Sister is ready. Same horror as before, so shouldn't be any different. These are the cries of Saw a couple of damage caps in there. Oh man, look at my dress! 
Well, treasure chest is power of shade. Alright, let's go to the completely unupgraded section. Aha. Uh -huh. Power of shade. I don't... I guess they're both power 3, speed 3. No, that one's an endurance. Is that it? Alright, so... Probably one of those ones that gives you... 20% power when activated and then 30% when upgraded, I'm guessing. I am fairly convinced that Senya will eventually be able to set a shade zone. What's this? Okay, we don't like hornets. I'm betting as his character develops or maybe whenever he gets his stellar awakening. Oh, okay, I see the other side. I bet you he'll be able to like get one of those uh, deploy shade zones awakened multiple times type of thing. All right. So it looks like that's as far as we can go there. Tracking. I think there's a few more paths north I could take. Yep, there's one. Anything this way? More hornets, I see. And remember, this is Master Difficulties. Sesta makes everything so easy. I'm sure those of you... Oh, uh, high class scrolls. I'm sure those of you that have Sesta another style are probably having an even easier time than me. Alright, I think we've explored everything we can explore until we can figure out how to clear the bamboo and the hornets. So let's head back to the village, finish our exploration slash looting there. Let's go inside the blacksmith and just see if there's anyone else in there. Offhand, not really looking like it. Can't go up. All right. Oh, I can make a transient knuckle. Mm, did I pass it up already? Oh, I guess it's probably a level... Oh, it is level 60. Okay. Oh, I can even make it. Alright. Takes six tears, six nuts, and three medicine chests. No one's equipped. All right, 172, and the best weapons are at 213, so 
I don't know if it levels up or not, but uh, where'd it go? Transient knuckle. Oh, anyway, uh, I guess the transient gear we can start making soon. Alright, anything else on this layer? But we just got Graham's cooking. Alright, nothing this way. And nothing this way. All right. We've explored everything. It's time to go to the mayor's house and chat. All right. We've finished up in the house. Anything to steal? Yep, more fragments of attack. And now we have to go help some villagers. So, try some quick chores. Hopefully quick. Alright. Uh, I guess... I guess we go this way. I was expecting more than one. Alright, first chore. That was quick. All right. Is there more? All right, now that's the only thing I'm seeing. Maybe there's stuff inside the houses? Okay, well, let's go ahead and take care of that one. Maybe another one will pop up when it's done. Alright, I guess we're going to have to farm up some rice or something. Something seems to have happened to the bamboo grove. Okay. Maybe he'll give me a tool to get through the bamboo. Quest accepted. Guess I gotta go find the scythe in the bamboo forest. Does that show up as a in progress? Yes, it does. So it looks like I have to defeat monsters in Yagara Grove. Okay. Well, we can do that. We just did the, uh, that for a little while. Nothing was terribly difficult. Any specific monster? Yes. Okay, well at least we have a, a map so we can go straight there. The save button should still be on, so... Yep, there's our skills. monster do we have to fight? Go! 
Sushi Gumos. Three of them. Nope. Same strategy as everything else. Buff, buff, buff. Kill. Not a problem. I would call it a walk in the park. Alright, I'm guessing I have to go return that item. Yep. I'm assuming that I cannot cut the bamboo with it. Yep. Alright, well, let's just take the easy way back. I'm about to kill some monster weeds. Alright, clear weeds with the sharp scythe. Does it light up? I guess I have to talk to him to start it. Aha, uh -huh. rice farming. <clears throat> All right, so I guess there's multiple fields. I gotta swipe left and right to check the field. When I see a problem, an icon will appear, tap it. And if I have the right item, I resolve it. So, kind of like whack-a-mole, only uh, once I collect all the items, I guess I'll be able to do everything. That sounds simple enough. All right, so let's go left. Oh, okay. Nothing. Right. Oh, I see. So those are weeds. There's the scythe icon. No more weeds. Any more? That looks like weeds. And that was it. Okay. So it did seem pretty easy. I see, what is that? Hornets, probably. Uh, okay, so that's how we go back. And I still don't see anything for bamboo unless the scythe can destroy the bamboo in the grove. Alright. Yeah, uh, yes. Alright, is he going to give me another quest or do I have to go to someone else? Check fields and check out other problem spots. Bugs. All right, now you can go up here. All right. All right, so we need to fix the water wheel. Anything else? And we have to support anything that's fallen down. I guess that's everything. Okay, well, let's return. So we need to 
do a bug killer, support fallen down weeds, and fix the water wheel. And look, three quests have popped up. Alright, this one is the water wheel. Let me guess, you're going to need some wood or something like that. Yep, get me the materials. Oh, great, so I need to kill a turtle with trees growing out of its back. Two of them. Alright, so get that wood. Next quest. Uh, this one's for the rice support. Grab some wild strawberries. And the last quest is... How to get rid of bugs, no doubt. Yep. some bamboo shoots. Alright, three bamboo shoots, two pieces of wood, and some strawberries. It's like a grocery list. Only with monsters. Alright. Well, let's go into the grove and see if we can just round them all up at once. Look, they finally figured out that they can use a scythe to cut through the bamboo because a bunch of katana users couldn't possibly have done that already. Okay. What are you? There's one location. That was bamboo. Uh, I think one of those was hornets. I want to say that one. So that one was more bamboo. And looks like there's something approaching us and something to our left. One thing that did occur to me, this thing does 4,000 damage on Shaney. And that's with a barrier, too, so if you don't have barriers in play, that's doing a lot more damage to your tank. If you do Master Difficulty. I'm going to take this opportunity, if you do not have any form of Cesta at all, 
it might be worth it to uh, drop every Kronos stone you have on the current banner. As of today, there's 14 days left. Probably one of your best chances to get Sesta of any form. As you see in my videos, I use her a lot. Oh look, here's the turtle. Poor turtle. Choose it all. There's one piece of wood. Wait, can I go any further? No. All right, decisions, decisions. Do I go this way or do I keep exploring this way? I think let's keep exploring since that thing is up there. Does this even connect? Almost. Oh, there was something sparkling. Alright, before I go much further, I think we're going to backtrack. And check, check out that last item. Or quest marker, I guess, really. And then I'll explore the east side of this grove. Alright. Anything this way? It looks like a... Maybe a plank or something will let us cross the river. More nuts? More nuts. So, whatever is there, I need a tool to go across. Alright, well, I guess let's go back this way. May heaven's mercy guide us. There's a tree right there. Can, uh, can we just use that wood? we can. What's this? And okay, I can't go down either. Alright, so I can get to this kind of hidden area here, but I still need a tool, so I gotta remember to, to come back for that. Alright, that means I have to walk all the way back. Could warp to the village and then just re-enter the forest, but I think it'd be about the same amount of time either way. Gumos. All right, what's here? Oh, whoops. Wish when you clicked down there, it would just automatically use the tool, but... Oh, we gotta talk about it. So we have enough for the bug repellent. Anything else up ahead? Oh, you got more bamboo? And we gotta talk about it again? Alright.
Oh, did we need three? I thought we needed two. Okay. Alright. Alright, this was bubbly stuff. And that one was the hornets. So, I guess we go back, turn in one quest, get an item that will allow us to progress. I think Poor Senya Sensitive nose Alright, we have bug repellent, so I'm guessing we go back in the forest and go to any spots that have the hornets, which I think there was only two. That one, that was a crossing, 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 maybe that one too. Okay. Oh, it's a little kitty cat. Right, let's see if my memory is still functional after all the work I've been doing. Yep. All right. Go away. Nothing this way. Nope. Enemies. Check out this horror. Oh, major trial. Sure, why not? Uh, worst case, I'll just get killed and try again. All right, so we're gonna take that off. Let's start off with a faith on her. Maldiction depravity still works. Twin blade still works. Looks like this thing might have two lives. There goes one life. All right, he deployed a water zone, but I have a melody. There's my wind zone. So here's what I'm thinking. It has another life. So... If I take it down at second life, it's going to break that wind zone and Melody will have to wait a little while to redeploy it. So let's not... I wonder if I can do this without using the Twin Blade Wolf. It looked like it had some type of barrier. We're going to blow the AF gauge. This is what I'm thinking. We're going to blow the AF gauge, see if we can drop his second life and save Twin Blade Wolf for the next turn. So let's see. It still has pain. Looks like it kept the debuffs. So we'll have her magical smash. Athdokis. Well, we'll do Binoct first and Athdokis if we can. We've done both of those, so she can just toad stream. So we'll crush her blow. So let's see. One, three, two, one. And then pretty much all ones, if I think about, I'll work in an Athdokis. One, three, two, one. All ones. I'm watching. There's Athdokis. Looks like we finished. Let's uh, rebuff some things. Since looks like the boss used up in our life. He will probably break my zone again. Yep. But we did not use Twinblade Wolf.
It'll be weakened, of course, because we're not in a wind zone. Or could we be in a wind zone? Hmm, does he have a barrier? Uh, doesn't really matter. Twinblade Wolf barrier pierces anyway. Okay, well, let's Binoct. Depravity, even though it has pain, I still want the damage barrier. She will Toad Streeb and we will Twinblade. And let's see what happens. Okay. So what's behind this guy? Flash Shadow Ring. Alright, um, let's see who wears rings. Sesta wears rings. Sesta do good. Alright, Flash Shadow Ring. Flash Shadow Ring anytime. Fla there. Alright. Ambush tactics, so preemptive, I guess. And speed. Okay. Not horrible. How much speed? Let's see. 282 to 297. So 15 speed, it looks like. And then whatever ambush tactics are, which I'm guessing is preemptive. Okay. Not bad. Alright, so if you are actually watching this part of the walkthrough, if you go here and beat the mini super boss that's in there, you can get yourself a ring that gives you speed and I'm thinking preemptive. So any characters that use speed, like Melissa for example, uh, that ring might be nice for her. characters like her. Possibly Shiguri or Subami. Uh, I don't have their newest styles, but uh, they might use speed, being samurai ninja type stuff. Okay, anyway. Let's go back to save. We are Depravity, Benoct, Malediction, and Twinblade. Less hornets. Nothing this way. Uh, it looks like some of these might just be shortcuts. That plank there would be a shortcut. Alright, what's this? Strawberries, maybe? Oh, yeah, the other turtle. Past that, probably not. Nope. Okay. Let's head back. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up too while I'm thinking about it. Notice they're wearing sl a little slipper thing too. I thought it was just Aldo doing that. Okay.
All right, so that lacquered plank. I guess we'll get to use it in the forest once we use it here. Kind of like the scythe. Now we can use the incense. I think there were some other bugs this way. Alright, took care of the bugs. Alright, we're fixing the water wheel. Yay, and we have water again. Alright, so just need something for that. Let's stop and I guess chat with the guy. Okay. Um, well, I guess we could have just gone straight back to the uh, grove. What was it grove? Yep, Yagara Grove. Guess we just could have gone to it and kept our kept going, making progress. All right, let's see. That's where we want to go. That will probably have the strawberries. So let's check out the other stuff first. Again, if you don't care about exploration, skip ahead to the parts of the video that you need. Or am I going the wrong way? Yep. Can't use the plank for that. That's a bummer. All right. Go find us some strawberries. Sesta will tear you to bits. Testify. Listen. These are the crawling shadows. Strawberries. All right, I think that's everything. That was just another spot for the river. So let's head back to the village. with 
strawberry person. To the rice fields and let's fix those fallen down shoots. I think that's everything. Yep. Everything's all nice and sparkly. Don't see any issues. All right. Oh, they did pretty sunset colors. Following the cutscene, I have control again. I helped the villagers. I now need to check on Xi'an and Senya, whom apparently are in the grove. I'm assuming, whoops, I'm assuming my health and everything is pretty decent. Yeah. You'd figure after partying all night, I'd be healed up completely, but alas, oh, well. That's quick. Oh, look, practicing. I have control. Go to the village entrance. All right. Map, village, and entrance. Short and sweet. Following a more lengthy cutscene, we are now headed to Nagsham. And I think we've explored everything, so we can just go straight to the quest marker. Automatic cutscene. I've regained control after the cutscene. And detouring back to the village. Can I warp there still? Yep. I could warp to the entrance. That's probably not a good sign. Neither is burning embers flying in front of my face. A major trial awaits you. Sure. Ooh, that's a big thing. Specter. All right. Mother of Calamity. Oh, it summons little minions. All right. This, I'm assuming, is the big boss of Chapter 2. Stack 1 at the start of every turn after reaching 3 stacks. Call Specters. Okay, so periodically we'll have more specters. At turn end, deal percent damage based on number of specters. So the less of those guys, the better. Hmm. 
Activates when AF gauge is empty. Single enemy that mech activation preemptive. Okay. So does that mean all of the attacks from that point forward are going to become preemptive? Well, I was thinking about blowing the AF gauge right away, but maybe not. Alright, well, let's turn that off. Well, let's see if it is immune. Oh, it is, oh, it's weak to wind. All of them are. Oh, you poor, poor super boss creature thing. All right, depravity, but not... Actually, this might be a longer fight, so why don't we start off with a faith and malediction. I'm assuming that was an HP stopper. There, I see a barrier. Sesta doesn't care about barriers. I do see one life, so let's see, that's Magical Smash. That's Athdaw Kiss just to be on the safe side. I'm pretty sure Twinblade can take down the rest of that. And we'll do a Toad Streeb. And Barrier Pierce. Barrier Pierce and Damage Cap. Oh, not even an extra life. Well, if you have Sesta, this Chapter 2 boss will not cause you any concern whatsoever. Unless there's more to the fight. But not looking like it. Oh, looks like there's more to Chapter 2. Alright. Can I rest up first? I guess so. To the grove. Alright, not too far of a walk. Might get into one fight. Might be able to make it there without one. Let's see what's going on. Looks like I have control again. All right, take a walk in Yagara Grove. I keep having this feeling like the chapter's about to end, but then there's another step. Not complaining, just. All right, where am I walking to? Way over there, huh? And we never did find a way across the river. I wonder if that's for a future chapter. Unless... I wonder if the rope gets us across the river. Let's just check really quick. Look at that. And it doesn't use up the supplies. Well, all right. One last bit of exploration before we get over there. If you don't care, skip ahead. 
Who wants a bite? To save depravity, the knocked malediction, twin blade. Yay, I killed 20 turtles. That'll make my son sad. We're getting a, a pet turtle for him. We've set up the tank and everything. I don't think I'm going to tell him what I've been killing in the game. Oh. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Power of Gust. All right, not particularly helpful. takes care of everything so let's head down there Sesta did real good. Alright, let's see what's next. Alrighty. Finished taking a walk. Return to Kogany and prepare to leave. And that looks like the finish chapter icon. So I think we'll actually finish chapter two now, which means next sham will be probably the destination for chapter three. Quest complete. And a mysterious figure appearing at the end of that cutscene. I'm betting I know who we will be pulling for in the next chapter. All right, uh, let's see. Inbox. There's a campaign going on right now. If you start chapter two, I think it was before the end of November 24. Uh, you get some chrono stones. And I'm sure I got some stones for, you know, encounter 20 enemies, encounter the horrors, etc. So we started the quest, got 10 stones, and yep, encounter your first, etc. Defeat 20 spirit stuff. So let's see 10, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65. Plus the other 40s. Got about 100 stones from that alone at 5,800. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was chapter two. And let's head back. This is my go to spot for recovering. Quests. Chapter 3 is titled Ashen Skies and Ember Petals. So it's just a lot of fire in Chapter 3. And uh, that mysterious character at the end of Chapter 2, maybe she will be the next new character summon. And then we also saw a familiar couple of faces 
as well, so maybe they'll make a reappearance, or maybe we'll get some stellar awakenings through the Emporium or something. So, anyway, well, I hope this helps. It looks like Chapter 2 was basically a lot of exploration. We actually had our first boss encounter, though if you have a solid wind team, that boss uh, went down very easily. And don't forget that there was that... Uh, major trial turtle that gave us the ring about halfway through. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, uh, in the description for this video I will have an area carved out so you can jump to that. So, uh, anyway, hope this helps. Casual Chrono, signing out.